I am Alessandro Zamparelli, I am a designer and I am co-founder of MOX. MOX is a generative design studio based in Bologna with the aim to explore the opportunities of digital tools and 3D printing technology in product design for the body. We are interested in exploring the aesthetical consequences of this evolution of technology. For instance, we develop some prototypes for the medical industry and at the same time we are exploring the new opportunities of these technologies for fashion design. One of our recent projects is called Carapace Mask. Carapace in Italian means carapax, the exoskeleton of arthropods like crustacean or insects. We take inspiration from the microstructure of this exoskeleton in order to create the customized mask that we are producing using a 3D scan of the body. In this case we use a Kinect sensor. We create a 3D model that is adapted to that shape using a 3D modeling tool like Maya. The generative part is realized using some algorithm developed by us. So using the computer it is possible to simulate natural phenomena and these behaviors are simulated in a digital environment. Carapace masks are 3D printed using a material based with nylon and microfiber of glass. We realized that this kind of process of 3D scanning and 3D generation of the geometry can have a good potential for medical industry. The hand of ptosis is generated with the same process of the mask. It's a support for the hand for people that have neurological issues and we have to wear these kind of devices all the time in order to keep the right position of the hand. We use a porous surface in order to prevent the excessive perspiration of the hand and it's also a device that is washable. We use a similar aesthetic for both fashion design and medical design because we wanted to give opportunity to patients to wear fashion devices. I think that it's quite exciting to be a designer today because we have digital tools that allow to create something incredible. And I think that generative design strategies and modern technologies like 3D printing are pushing these boundaries. You have to code, you have to program the behavior of the computer, but you have also an active interaction role with these rules. If you are a sculptor, then you have to know your material, you have to explore it. And using these digital tools, I think it's quite similar. So there is a wide landscape to explore for designers.